day three of our epic four-day hike to Cape Town, and I'm still carrying the same glass of water collected at the Berg River Dam. It symbolizes water's difficult journey to get to your taps, and so far it's been through untouched natural beauty. But here at the Fora Drinking Water Treatment Plant is where our water enters the machine. Christine Colvin, the senior manager of WWF's freshwater program, explains why this is a major transition point in water's journey to your tap. This is the start of that hard urban infrastructure as we start leaving nature behind. Slightly polluted water from our upstream river basins enters treatment plants just like this. It undergoes a series of chemical processes, cleaning up our water so that we can all enjoy it. I'll cheers to that. Hmm, not too bad. It was time for us to move along from the freshwater drinking plant to a less, how do you say, glamorous location. Day three of the journey of water. Not one of my finest moments of my career, but nonetheless, this is a integral part in the journey of water. This is the sewage wastewater treatment plant and without this process, we would have a serious sanitation problem on our hands across South Africa. The smell here was almost unbearable, but we carried on to find out more about the processes our waste water undergoes before re-entering the environment. You'll be surprised what they have to remove from our water. When we have inclement weather, you know, everything gets washed down into the sewer. We sit with a problem upstream uh, where we have to take out bricks, we have to take out car parts, we have to take out you name it, <laughs> we get it, yeah. From the wastewater treatment plant, we continued our journey to the Kyalicha wetlands. I learned that when wetlands are located close to our urban infrastructure, it actually helps manage our floodwater risks. This is just one of many reasons we must maintain these ecological barriers across South Africa as our country's population continues to rise. The final day of the journey of water brought us deep within the urban infrastructure of Cape Town. We were on our way to our final destination, the tunnels beneath the Castle of Good Hope. After learning that Cape Town was once referred to as the City of Stenches because of its previous lack of fresh water and access to an adequate sewage system, we put on our hard hats and ventured underground to a place virtually unknown to the city dwellers above. We've seen the journey of water's humble beginnings, but what many of you don't see is out of sight and out of mind. That would be the storm water drainage systems that's actually underground. And I've got a sneak preview for you. Follow me. This is also a very integral part of the journey of water. Yes, I'm walking a bit funny, but this stormwater drain actually used to be part of the river system that flows where the city now stands. You have no idea how no, creepy it is down there. There's well, someone singing, it's so weird. Yeah. I can't begin to tell you how happy I was to be out of there. A frightening but perfect way to end our journey. I've been carrying this same glass of water since the Yonkers Hook Nature Reserve, symbolizing water's great journey from its humble beginnings all the way to navigating the urban landscape of Cape Town. I'm saying goodbye to it so it can enter the system once more, and I think it's time that I deserve a fresh glass of water to drink. Derek Van Dam, the Castle of Good Hope, Cape Town.